guys and welcome to this vlog this is part two if you watched my last studio vlog you will have seen that this got split into two parts and this is more a weekly vlog because the spanner got thrown in the works this week and we ended up rescuing a dog um and then going to york and going to a viking festival and harry potter shop and a lot of things happened and then at the end of the video we do a mini haul me and emily together about all the little stuff we bought in york as well so let's get into this weekly vlog and when it started and when the spanner got thrown in the works let's go shall we hi guys and good morning we are currently sat in my car um i have had the weirdest 24 hours it's currently 7 a.m and i've had about two three hours sleep and you'll see why in a bit last night i was on my way to pick emily up from her boyfriend's because she's staying over at my house for the weekend it was about half 11 at night and as we were driving on the main road we nearly hit something and at first i thought it was a deer and then i noticed it was a dog so we swerved out of the way and uh, realized it was a dog in the middle of the road eating like scraps off the road and he had a collar on so i, I was like oh my god it's a dog like we'll have to turn around because obviously it's on a main road um and he looked so emaciated and luckily we were in the dog car like we have a dog ourselves called daisy who's a whippet slash labrador cross and um this is a big greyhound like a big black greyhound I, I think it's a greyhound and he looks so emaciated which obviously means he's abandoned well I'm, at least i'm assuming that he's abandoned and um so we put him in the car and uh yeah we, we had to take him home because obviously there was no no vets or um the RSPCA was closed and we just didn't know what to do uh, so Dean took Daisy to um, our parents and now we have a dog in our house so I really wanted to get to work today and do work because it's typical this week um, I leave my windows and it's been a quiet week for sales so I'm like I need to get to work I need to get some new products out and do like a product launch of my new stickers I've done but sometimes life gets in the way and i'm currently stuck with this dog and we've named him milky because it was a miracle he wasn't hit by a car there was oncoming cars and they were going about 60 miles per hour meanwhile we're probably in danger because we got out the car as well and we were panicking trying to get this dog in the car we didn't force him in the car he's really tame and he just jumped in willingly we didn't have to like you know like try and guide him in he literally just followed our orders and jumped in so uh, i gave him a gentle like kind of wash down a rub down um because he has really bad sores and stuff all over him it looks like he's got kind of flea bites as well so we gave him two doses of flea treatment to the back of his collar um so yeah and we've fed him uh we've been feeding him little and often because obviously it looked like he hasn't had a good meal for a very long time and so we fed him little and often so he didn't overwhelm his stomach and throw it back up let's go home and meet milky and um try and get him sorted okay milky that's just a phone you can eat that milky do you want to say hi to the people of the internet so we've actually rolled our rug up because we obviously have daisy we don't want her getting fleas in case he's got fleas so we just rolled that up and we've put out daisy's dog bed emily's asleep on the sofa i'm so sorry em i'm vlogging um so yeah, he's been asleep and he's been chilling. And look at him. He looks so poorly. He looks so poorly. No, oh, what? No, what? It's so as you can see, he's very, very thin and he's in a bad way guys he's got a lot of look he's got a saw on his butt here and 
he's starting to groom himself which I'm hoping is a good sign because obviously when he's been out um, and he's been straight yeah we're talking about you when he's been out and straight he might not have been grooming himself properly because he's he looks like he's got lots of flea bites oh dear milky what are we gonna do with you so yeah that's pretty much where we're at at the minute what time is it now it's now five to eight so um the vets doesn't open till half eight so we're going to try and ring a few different animal shelters and vets and stuff and see if he has a microchip because by law you meant to have a microchip but that doesn't stop people from not getting a microchip um so hopefully he does though because he's such an affectionate dog um I feel and he's not scared of us he wasn't as scared when we approached him he listens to us he obeys commands he goes out and goes to the toilet I'm feeling like he has an owner uh, hopefully the owner hasn't abandoned him and it is a case of him just getting lost and we can reunite them I'm really hoping so we just need to get him um, scanned to make sure he hasn't got a microchip and yeah hopefully we can uh, get him sorted so a bit of a weird one today guys isn't it Anyway, I'll see you in a bit and I'll keep you updated on the whole situation. See you soon. Love you. Goodbye. So a little update, uh, we shared a Facebook post on Facebook and some owners got in touch with us but we thought it would probably be best to take them to a vet first. It would also give us peace of mind that the dog had veterin veterinary help first because um, it was you seen he was extremely emaciated he was eating and drinking and all that good stuff the vets we took him to is a fantastic vet and also have you seen these bags under my eyes oh my goodness that's from lack of sleep i've had about two hours sleep but i think we might actually head to york today there's no point me trying to oh my goodness <laughs> there's no point me trying to do work and stuff um with this mental state, I feel really groggy. I'm gonna get my iPad down and do some sketches. I really wanna do some YouTube sketches um, of YouTubes and uh, do him so that people who watch YouTube can have him. And I also would really like to have him as a pin. So I'm gonna do some sketches of him. I'm also gonna make um, Grammy, which is gonna be an Instagram icon, kind of sticker planner set that I've had an idea for. So I'm gonna doodle him as well on the sofa before we get going. Let's go, shall we? Okay guys, so I've finished sketching some social media icons uh, for planner stickers. So this is the Facebook one, he's really cute, I like him a lot, he looks really cute, I like this one here. And then I also did um, an Instagram one, like this, which is really really cute. 
and now we are heading off to york for the day yeah so now we're heading off to york and um i'm gonna take you with us and those planner stickers are gonna be live i'm gonna do a big planner launch on sunday if everything goes to plan and no more surprises like a dog pops up again so yay i really hope you like it now let's go to york shall we And it also is accessible because you don't have to wait a year for it to season. Like some of the craftsmen that do carving. When you work working doing carving, you want very specific. So we are just outside the biking festival. It's super, super cute. We didn't even know this was going on today. And um, people are dressed up like Vikings and stuff, like a role playing thing. And it's hosted by the Yorvik Viking Centre, which is in York. And it's really cool. It's got loads of traditional crafts and art and um, things. Like you've just seen like a wood turning thing, how they used to do it back in the day. That was so cool. And there's so many cool outfits and stuff. I love stuff like this. What did you think, Em? It's really cool. It's cool, isn't really it? Really cool. I know. It made it so smooth. Mmm. All was so good. I don't know how they did that. It's crazy you think they did it. But now we're gonna get some dinner from somewhere, I think. So see you soon then. I love you. Bye. So we're in the Disney shop and I'm so tempted to get this. It's on offer for £12. And then I've got the Mickey head already on my bed. I haven't got the mini head. And then they've also got Thumper, which is really cute though. Oh my gosh, so adorable. But I'm thinking of getting this. <sighs> what do you think? Oh, oh, what? Oh, that's adorable. It's so soft as well. <laughs> These are all mine. Oh, Dean, look. Oh my gosh, Swedish meatballs. I love Swedish meatballs, they're so nice. Stuff like this reminds me of Harry Potter, am I right? Going in the Yankee Candle shop, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yay, now we're going into Flying Tiger. Look how amazing it is in here. Just look at all this good stuff. Oh, let's go inside. I love it. Trinket tray. <laughs> I don't think you drink out of it, Em. Yeah. I'm so jealous because Emily has nabbed. Oh, wait, they're asking for me. Yay. There's these gorgeous sketchbooks which literally look amazing and I'm getting this tray to put my necklaces on. Got the less one. Oh, the paper oh, seems so small. I don't the want the tiny one. one. I want the big one. 
Oh, so nice. they're so it's smooth. Worn. And it's really stiff card and it's only how much was it? Three pounds. Three quid? This is why I love this shop. Emily's stealing it off me. I want it. Hey, look at this serving bowl. <laughs> <laughs> how cute is this stationery? I love it. I love all stationery. You stole the sketchbook I wanted, Emily. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. Yeah, I am. We're sat outside, but it's really, really, really hot, isn't it, Em? Yeah. While well, she drinks my drink. I know. But yeah, it's really, really warm and cosy outside, so we're actually just chilling and we've got this view of the old church to keep us company. Are you having a good day, Em? Yeah. Shambles next. Shambles next, even though everything is going to close soon. Look at this annoying face, who stole my sketchbook. <laughs> and we're drinking this drink, lemon and mint by San Pellegrino. How do you say this? Yummy, and that's the cake Dean saved me. That's not a half, Dean. That's not half. See that smile? He's laughing because he knows it's not half. <laughs> that's like a third, if that. It still looks delicious though. Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cork advert. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go to the shambles next and I'll keep you all day. It's alright. Love you. It's closed. Oh no, it's not. Yay. Oh, it's a back entry. Look at this. If anyone is visiting the UK, you have to come to York. It's amazing. Let's go inside. There's also one called the Boy Wizard too because this street, Diagon Alley, was influenced by the street called the Shambles in York which is really old Tudor style houses which basically looks like Diagon Alley. What do you think Em? Let's go in the boy who must not be named. Or the shop that must not be named. Oh look, we can go in because wizards are welcome. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so fun. Spells and trials. Which are you? <laughs> I'm Slytherin. The Deathly Hallows are Gryffindor. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Chocolate frog! It's exactly the same one as in Florida as well, I think. And look at all these ones. That's so cool. Look at all them. A sticking charm has been cast upon this dog. Give it a good pull. That was awesome. Yeah. That really was awesome, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I told you it's so good in there. There's another one there, but I feel like we're gonna do that just. Oh, it's closed, so okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the shambles, so as you can see, it's all buildings like this. It's really, really small and thin in here, but it's still beautiful every time. I come down here, it feels like I'm in Harry Potter. And they've definitely added a lot of Harry Potter souvenirs down here, look. This is the po the Portion's Cauldron. Ooh. Oh, it's like a Portion's class. So cool. Emily's busy talking away, buzzing about Harry Potter. Look at her over there. Maybe it is. So we're just waiting at the park and ride with Emily and when we get back home we'll do like a mini haul because we've got lots of goodies between us so we'll sit down in the front room 
and show you all our goodies. I'm sorry that this has turned into more of a, I don't even know, like a weekly, weekly vlog thing. thing. <laughs> but this is what happens. I was kind of in the studio and then it kind of wasn't. <laughs> so we'll see you back at home and we'll show you all the stuff that we got. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> Do we start the video like this? Look at it. Hi guys, so we are back from York. It's actually the next day, it's Friday, and we're just about to go into work and try and resume a normal working week because this week has been very strange. Uh, so yeah, we thought we would do a little haul video because we went to some cute shops, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, got some stuff, so we thought we would show you what we got. So first off, I went to Lush Cosmetics and I got myself with a Lush. Ooh, does that smell nice, sis? Oh, she's looking it. And I got the Cup or Coffee Face Mask by Lush. I got the Cup or Coffee Face Mask by Lush and I got the um, 150 gram version. Now this actually lasts me a long time. Um, and I, it says face and body mask, but I only use it for my face. And me and Emily are gonna do this tonight and have a nice pamper. The only thing about this product is, are you bored of this day? Sorry about that. The only thing about this product, it always seems to seep out because I think it's something to do with the agar nectar or something that's in it, syrup. Always seems to leak out, so they always put it in loads of different bags and stuff. So Emily, what did you get? So we went to the Yankee Candle store and we smelled the new smells and that cherry blossom one that they've got out at the minute is literally amazing. I loved it. I got, Oh, like 11 and well, she got this one dollars. as well but this was such a bargain this was uh 20 pounds reduced to 7.99 you got loads of mini flavors didn't you what yeah flavors, um yeah i might do it mm, that smells so nice midsummer's night which i adore mm. it's one of my favorites it's so fresh and midsummer's night oh yeah <gasps> Yay, she got my favourite one. So this is my favourite smell at the moment. It is Cherry Blossom um, by Yankee Candle and it is literally so good. So yeah, she got a lot of candles. So the next thing, the next place we headed was Flying Tiger, which you'll have seen. And I um, just got one thing. I was going to get a notebook, but I'm trying to be more minimal in my spending. And I only really buy things if I really, really, really like need it or want it. Uh, so I had a little notebook that I wanted to buy. And it was only £2, but literally I spent about 15 minutes in, do I need this notebook in there? Yeah. And putting it back. Emily's a lot more liberal with her spending but I'm not like that I'm kind of like trying to tone it down and become more minimal so what I got was this cute wooden tray I don't know if you can see and this was I think four pound but I am really jealous of Emily because she's going to show you now she managed to nab a sketchbook which was only three pound was it but the paper felt so smooth and satisfying and I'm so jealous because she got the last one <laughs> What? <laughs> what was that place? <laughs> Maybe but unlike Catherine, I have been to a tiger star before. <laughs> <laughs> I have been to a tiger star before because we had a big one in Bournemouth. I say big one, it's actually kind of standard size, seeing the ones in London and like York. But it felt really big at the time. And it like served my life in uni because there was so much cute office supplies for really cheap. I bought a couple things from Tiger. Uh, this is the notebook in question. It's but nice. it has a band actually that goes, goes around, around it, it, which is really handy because if you like scrapbooking and adding things to it, it's really handy to keep it all together. But the pages are so smooth inside, the paper feels like it would be really good marker paper. So if anyone can pick these up and give it a try, let me know what you think. Because the outside of the box is really, it's not like a normal light card that you see, it's actually, really, really stiff. Really Quite it's kind of a yellowy paper on the inside as well, but I feel like this is so smooth and I prefer really smooth silky sketchbooks and I think that's going to be really really good for sketching and using markers with. Yeah. So. What else did you get? I also got these three mini notebooks. I think they were two pound. Mm -hmm. they're, they're so small. They're literally like the size of my hand. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing I bought is this really nice thick 
the bar. Uh, this is really handy if you're sketching and you need something solid underneath it. You've got a sheet of paper from a pad that you're using That's and it's bendy. I normally lean on a pillow or, or something, but it's this really hard. Yeah. This is really, really handy. And this was relatively cheap too, wasn't it? Four pounds. Four quid. But it's really, really, really thick and stiff. So yeah, and I really like the wood and the yellow pastel. Yeah, you can cute. choose different colors. You can get like green, pink, mm. not sponsored, but like you can get a lot of really cute colors. So the next thing I bought, I didn't really buy much actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> That's it. And this is a whole video, but I actually haven't bought much at all. It's only like a mini haul though. I just bought a new balance sports bra which we both got and uh, it's really really thick and it's just for the gym that's pretty much it we also got i also got two craft beers as well um a chocolate stout for dean and i tried i don't like i don't like beers and i tried like this raspberry one but i haven't tasted it yet oh she also got this bag from flying tiger which is really really cool you could just get it at the checkout Every time I go to York, I go to Trembling Madness. Mm, Maybe really if you nice. know what that is, you know what it is, but it's a giant, like, craft beer store. Yeah, it's a beer craft pub and store in the basement. Yeah. It and looks, restaurant. and restaurant, yeah. It looks super posh when you so go in. Nice. But the prices are very reasonable, especially for craft beers mm. and stuff like that. And I bought my craft beers, which are in the fridge, and I can't remember going to get them. So I pointed at Big Dipper, which is a double IPA, which I usually like. I have no idea what double IPA means, but she got this. From Brew York, I got a Gallagher, which is, like, really nice. It's a pale IPA, and... Again, the graphics design is just really nice. But yeah, they have so I much like nice graphic one. design on some of the cans. But I thought we'd just end the vlog here. I'm sorry this was a weird one. This turned out, this was the start of a studio vlog and then our week went really weird and weird stuff happened and then we went on a mini adventure to cheer ourselves up. I had very little sleep last night, but I'm feeling good. Uh, I've just been swimming. And now we're going into the studio to get to work on stuff. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this strange weekly vlog. It was very, uh, Fully. You are not allowed to drink on the job, Emily. But I want to. It tastes so good. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, 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 so freaking much for watching. And hello to the girl who seen me at the bus stop and said hi to us. That was so, so cute. I didn't manage to catch your name, but leave a comment below if it was you. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Daisy's <laughs> butt is in the shop. I love you. Thank you. Okay, then. Love you. <laughs> Goodbye.